on Wizards in Winter by Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Just going to hit a few of the highlights. I wanted to kind of put a rush on this and get it together for Christmas. This is almost Christmas time 2019. So it's kind of a last second uh, idea I had to put this together. So i um, not going to go through like super long explanations of anything. We'll just get right to it. I will say that I put together some tab for this, so check in the description below for the tab, especially the lead parts, which you might, uh, which you might need help deciphering. Also in the description is my free sweet picking guide, sweet picking boot camp, so you can get your shred on this holiday season and put some shred in your eggnog. All right, so um, the intro is just this. E power chord into a B power chord. And then this idea here. So the first is. And then we have open strings on the A and D. And then fifth fret on the A and D. And that's muted. If you put that together, you get. And then you always hear that ending on the B chord there. Okay, that's it. It kicks in when it kicks in with the full band. You've got the E power chord, G power chord, B. Then the breakdown. 
down leading into the lead line. That's just B. sharp I'm sorry G F sharp okay <clears throat> then when the lead line kicks in this is all in the key of E minor here and we're up at the 19th fret on the high E string and it's um, repeat that so we're going 19 17 15 on the high E I picked the first note and pull off the rest Hit 17 on the B, and then 17, 15 on the high E, then 19, 17 on the B. And that's what you're going to repeat. And then it comes out at the 16th fret on the B string. So whenever you hear that B chord, it coincides with that. That's from the E harmonic minor scale. Okay, this is about 140 beats per minute tempo. So it's cooking pretty good. You can work up to that with your metronome if you're having any troubles. Um, it's a combination of pull-offs and pick notes. I would uh, encourage you to kind of experiment with that if you feel like you want to pick everything, be my guest. I think it sounds a little smoother and better with some pull-offs in there. That's the main lead line that it keeps repeating throughout. Okay, then it has a couple of breakdowns. I'm not going to go super in-depth into those. You basically have the first breakdown is just chugging away on an E note while the uh, keyboards kind of play, play little melodies and ethereal ideas uh, underneath that. And then the second time it has this. And that's just on the low E string as well. So the part I want to get to get to is the epic ending. And um, leading into that, it's just that same idea again uh, that we had before. But we're not going to stop. I'm not going to just hit that. So it's basically just repeating this. And if I counted correctly, I think it does that 10 times. This is after the little keyboard part, the little keyboard solo thing. It breaks, there's a little keyboard solo, and then it starts basically the ending of the tune. And I think it does that 10 times. Now after that, it goes into what I'm calling the uh, uh, the ending part one, which is before the epic ending lick. So that, what that is, is descending. Kind of a descending sequence here. So again, see the tab for all the notes here, but let me just play this slow. 19, 17, 15 on the high E. 19 on the B. 17, 15 on the high E. So you see what's going on, you have this. And that's 16 on the G. I saw some tab where it's actually a C note. I don't think it is, I think it's B. I'm using my pinky, middle, and index to play that, and then my middle to play the um, the the B note on the G string. So this is played four times. After that, we go into the epic line. It's a really long line, and basically what it is in the key of E minor, it's descending fours. So it's a group of four notes descending, and then we start at the another note and descend four more. It has a very logical pattern to it. So once you get the pattern down, and you can apply this to all sorts of things, but in this context, um, 
I'm showing you one way to play this. There's an, a, a few other ways you could play it where you travel down the fretboard. I'll show you one of those other ways too, but the tab that I have is based on this. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through all the numbers here because that's gonna be way too confusing, but check the tab, to just the cross references. It starts though at the 19th fret on the high E string. Then 17, 15, 14. That's how it begins. So I'm just going to play through it slowly so you can kind of see it and hear it. and just for fluidity with your playing. That's one way to do it. So I'm gonna wrap this up with show you, this is how maybe someone like Inbe would play it, where you travel more on one string. Because you see, my sequence kind of goes across the strings. And this, this what I'm gonna show you also does that, but it does a fair amount on one string too. So here's my, if Inbe were in Trent Siberian Orchestra, he'd probably play it like this. People think Ingve picks every note, but he doesn't. He uses a lot of um, pull-offs, especially when descending scales. Um, but what's going on here is that a large portion of this is on the B string. So on the B string, it's pure alternate picking. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. If you're watching this around Christmas time, um, 2019, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and this will be my last video of the year until 2020 so i'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in 2020 thank you for all of your support for checking out my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and don't forget to grab your free sweet picking guide in the description below as well as the tab for this lesson i'll see you soon rock on